Wow, so this is a million dollars in gold? 850. So we get to my brother's office, he explains the situation to me. He shows me $850,000 in gold and silver to get me motivated. $850,000? What's the most expensive coin here? That'd be the 57S, 1857S, SS Central America. What's the price on it? Cost on that coin is 51 grand. Next thing we know, SWAT team's busting in. Somebody called 911. They saw all the Cadillacs, they saw the bling, saw somebody carrying some guns, and they called 911. We invited them in. I thought, what an opportunity for these guys to see close to a million dollars in rare coins and gold. What he's shooting right here is $850,000. It's one collection of rare coins from a very rich old man in George West. And I'm gonna tell you, when these guys set sight on those coins, they were in the ether. They were foamed up like a shaving mug. Feel how light it is? It's the handle's titanium. And that steel is, they take a bunch of different pieces of metal and hammer forge them together. And the pattern you see in it is the two different kinds of steel. It's the way they react when you put it in acid. Well, after the police realized it was a false alarm, they actually purchased Snowdy knives and signed up for Snowdy World. Sure. <laughs> Joseph, this is that special piece that came up for my brother. This is Swedish Damasteel. This is the client that wants the dinosaur bone handle. I've talked him into going with two handles, so I want you to cut a set of this green micarta, fit them to the knife, and we'll come back and give him another set of dinosaur bone. We'll use Corby bolts so that the client can interchange the handles. But be careful with this, this is a priority. We've got to have it finished by this weekend and do not scratch the blade because this is a $6,000 piece of steel. So cut these handles out and I'll get the dinosaur bone started. Thanks. In this step, Joseph is prepping the micarta and scribing the profile. This is typically the first step in laying out a knife handle. I'm just bullshitting you, man. We don't really do that. This one goes that way, so it's one of the only ones that doesn't throw stuff directly. Hey Joseph, where's that knife at, man? It's hot out here, dude. Here you go. Thanks. What's he want? Just an inch added on the handle? Yeah, a couple inches. Golly. This is the process in which we arc weld extensions on our knife blades. Watch your eyes. Don't look at this now. This allows us to create knife blades of dissimilar metal. When you get molten metal into your ear, you have to hope that you hear it sizzle, because if you don't hear it sizzle, well, guess what? It just burn out your eardrum.
this is what you do. See, that's why I, I, feel, I would feel more comfortable with that. And then you run. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter where you hit them. Well, yeah, because you're not going to get that out of my fingers. No, you're going to hurt. Well, if <laughs> they do, they're, well, they're going to get cut real but bad. But not that. If they grab it, they're going to get cut. You'll right. cut all their tendons. Right. And their yeah. hand won't work. Right. A lot of that time happens a lot of times. Yeah. But you can go defensive like this and just wait for them to do something and then hit, them. hit and run. Yeah, the orange uh, part of the handle is called G10. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of like a fiberglass type material. Yeah. So it's. Like, really I, yeah, it's waterproof and it's just the color of the matte finish. It looks like um, like the satin. Scary. Yeah, it's tattooing and knife making, uh, you get the same kind of customers. You get a lot of law enforcement and military, so it's kind of a crossover crowd. Yeah, you're you're. I've got and this is this is your knife, the knife you came down for today. It's very very sharp. The other knife is at the engravers. They're talking about another week. Okay. So this is my friend Wade. Wade has been around for about 10 years. He supports Snowy Knives. He's our bodyguard. Wade proved his worth to me about six years ago. We had an incident where a crackhead came into our store and threw a temper tantrum, started turning over cabinets, actually pulled out a syringe, and I hate to say this, but had a cup of urine in their hand and was threatening to throw the urine on me if I didn't give him money. I gave Wade a call. He was right down the street having lunch, and Wade stepped in. And Wade's got this signature move where he can grab somebody and, and just in a split second, they're in another room or through a wall. So that's what Wade is doing here, guys. This is him. Do you deal with a bath salt different than a cracky? Well, the reason I keep him around is I don't like to deal with him. I just make knives. Yes, sir. But do you deal with the bath salts different than crack? Well, you don't want to get any fluid from a bath salt user on you, blood, saliva, you don't, you don't never know what they're carrying, AIDS, hepatitis, um, you want to bring them to the floor without getting anything on you. Hey Mike, hey, buddy. what's happening? You, man. How's it going? Down. Sure thing, man, glad to be here. My name's Mark Phillips and uh, I'm a consultant, a uh, healthcare consultant. I work out of Corpus Christi. Uh, and. Uh, I met Mike through uh, some contacts on the internet, and I've been a customer of Mike's now for since 2008 or so. Um, collect a lot of Mike's knives. I probably have more of Mike's knives than anyone else's. I like his earlier Japanese style. I think I own, I've got a couple that they're one ofs, and there's one that's uh, the Daigoro. I own one, and there's, I think there's only, there's only two in the world. Two two of the Daigoros and I have one. Guys, yeah, stay safe. Thank, thank you very much. It. Come back and see me. We'll do it, man. Talk to you thank soon. You, thank you, girl. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Hey, brother. Mike is just a man. We specialize in performance, guys. We offer the highest performance custom knives for the best value, best in class, that are available anywhere in the world. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Hey, don't, hey, I appreciate you, man. We have 100% confidence in every knife that we build. <laughs> Money well spent right there. We've been doing it for 16 years. We're in South Texas. We build everything from straight razors to machetes, guys. We are preserving an American tradition. He's such a sick lady, he really is. I'm the people's knife maker. Can't wait to get him back in the office and show everybody.